morning, girls. It's Wednesday. pretentious wearing a hat indoors but at the same time the top of my hair looks really really bad and I kind of don't want to show it to the internet. So apparently our theme this week is teach you something and so being the nerd that I am I'm going to give you several interesting facts music history style. Nearly all the major composers of the romantic period died of some sort of sexually transmitted disease and they all died young. However Franz Schubert who was a very prominent composer during the romantic period died of consumption after he went crazy from the syphilis, a riot broke out at the first performance of Le Sacre de Printemps by Igor Stravinsky. You want to hear it? It's scary. It's about a girl who dances herself to death. Yay! The composer John Cage wrote a piece called 433. It's 4 minutes and 33 seconds of silence. The famous violinist Niccolo Paganini, who lived around the late 1700s, early 1800s, was said to have made a deal with the devil because he played like he was possessed. If it weren't for his ballets, Tchaikovsky would be the seventh most played composer in the world. Because of works like The Nutcracker and Swan Lake, he's the first most played. Remember Schubert? He died of consumption before the syphilis got him. Well, there are six versions of his work, Die Forêt. I said that with a French accent. Ah, oh, that's funny. Well, it means the trout in German anyway, and it's a work for piano. There are six versions of this work because whenever friends asked for a copy of it, Schubert just wrote out a copy as best as he could remember it. You guys know Beethoven? Guy who wrote this work? Well, he was a bit of a jerk. He dressed badly, didn't like to bathe, swore a lot, was rude to people, and had no shame in conducting affairs with married women. And they let him get away with it because, I mean, come on, he's Beethoven. The organ has been around since the 3rd century BC, which makes it the oldest keyboard instrument. You may have possibly heard this before in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. <laughs> Classical music is used in a ton of other movie and cartoon scores. Anyone seen the King's Speech? You know the piece that's playing while he's making the speech? That's the second movement from Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Music History Facts. Bye guys, Kylie, I'll see you tomorrow.